today let us discuss polynomials in the second chapter of class 10th let us see the definition of a polynomial what a polynomial is a polynomial is defined as the finite sum of terms of the form ax power n where a is a real number known as coefficient and n is a whole number what n here is n is the power of x therefore the power of x must be a whole number consider this example minus 15x cube plus 2x square minus 5 you can see that the power of x are 3 for the first term 2 for the second term and no x in the third term therefore its power is 0 all the powers are whole numbers therefore this represents a polynomial let us see one more example 21 y power 6 minus 7 y power 5 minus 2 y cube plus 6 y the respective powers of the variable are 6 5 3 and 1 all are whole numbers therefore this again is an example of a polynomial see some basic definitions related to polynomial one of them is the degree of a term with one variable the degree means it is the power or exponent of the given variable here is a polynomial 5x square see what is the power of the variable yes it is 2 therefore degree of this term is 2 see another one 2x power 4 very clearly degree is 4 see another one 9 minus 9 m here m is the variable when we are writing m it means m to the power of 1 therefore degree is 1 now degree of a term with more than one variable is the sum of the exponents of the variables usually in 10th class such an expansion such a term will not be there still for your awareness we are discussing here consider the polynomial minus 7 x square y you can see two variables x and y power of x is 2 and that of y is 1 therefore the total power of this term is 2 plus 1 that is 3 see this 2x power 4y square <coughs> x power 4 and y square powers are 4 and 2 therefore the power the degree of this term is 4 plus 2 that is 6 very clearly there are three variables m n z respective powers are 1 5 4 therefore the degree of this term is 1 plus 5 plus 4 that is 10 the degree of a polynomial is the greatest degree of the terms of the polynomial variables. Consider this polynomial 2x cube minus 3x plus 7. See what are the degrees of the variables 3, 1 and 0. 7 is a constant therefore degree of x is 0. Which is the highest degree? 3. Therefore degree of this polynomial is 3. See another polynomial in two variables 2x power 4y square plus 5x square y cube minus 6x. What are the degrees of each term? First term degree 6, second term degree 5, third term degree 1. Therefore, degree of the polynomial is highest which is 6. Let us see how to classify a polynomial based on degree of a polynomial. A polynomial is named as a linear polynomial if its degree is 1. See some examples x, 3x, 5x minus 2 etc. In all these cases degree of x is 1 which is known as a linear polynomial. Let us define a quadratic polynomial as a polynomial with a degree 2. See some examples x square, 3x square plus 5x minus 1 etc. Cubic polynomial is a polynomial whose degree is 3. Some examples x cube is a basic cubic polynomial 5x cube plus 3x square minus 2x plus 8 etc. So as per the degree of a polynomial we classify polynomials as linear quadratic cubic. Zero of a polynomial. What we mean by zero of a polynomial? Let me explain through an example. Let us consider a polynomial x square minus 5x plus 6. Let us find some values of the polynomial by replacing the variable by some numbers. Let us consider p of 1, 
how will you expand one square minus five into one plus six right we replace the variable x by the value one we are getting the value two so four x equal to one value of the polynomial is two see one more value p of two what we are doing here we are replacing the variable x by two what we are getting is two square minus five into two plus six that is four minus ten plus six what's the value zero that is what we want here when x equal to two the value of the polynomial is becoming zero such a value of the variable is defined as zero of a polynomial so let us define zero of a polynomial as zero of a polynomial is the value of the variable for which the value of the polynomial becomes zero for a polynomial you can find more than one zeros many polynomial possess more than one zeros and the basic idea is that degree of the polynomial is equal to number of zeros here we consider x square minus 5x plus 6 which is a quadratic polynomial of degree 2 hence it we possess two zeros right cubic polynomial what about a cubic polynomial cubic means degree 3 therefore such a cubic polynomial will possess three zeros what are the geometrical implications geometrical meanings of zero of a polynomial in geometric display using a graph the zeros of a polynomial are the points at which the graph touches or crosses x-axis concentrate on that sentence the graph of the function touches or crosses x-axis consider an example here is the graph of a function you cl very closely observe whether the graph touches or crosses x-axis no here the graph does not touches or crosses x-axis hence there are no zeros for this function let us see some more examples consider the graph see very clearly the graph crosses x-axis at one place therefore hence the graph crosses the x-axis at one place then how many zeros it possesses? it possesses one zero see this graph how many zeros are there can you say yes the graph crosses x-axis at one two three four places therefore this graph this polynomial has four zeros see this example here the graph crosses the x-axis at one place and touches the x-axis at two places collectively there are three zeros one more example see this figure does the graph crosses x-axis no does it touches x-axis yes how many places at one place therefore the number of zeros of this polynomial is one let us see the relationship between zeros and the coefficients of a polynomial what is the relation between zeros and the coefficients of a polynomial let us consider the general quadratic polynomial p of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c very clearly very closely you observe that a is the coefficient of x square b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term then we say since the given quadratic polynomial is given polynomial is quadratic quadratic means degree two it has two zeros let us name these zeros as alpha and beta alpha and beta are greek letters used to represent zeros of a polynomial so basically this is something new for you you consider the zeros of a quadratic polynomial as alpha and beta then the result says sum of zeros is alpha plus beta which is equal to minus b by a where b is the coefficient of x and a is the coefficient of x square product of zeros is alpha beta is c by a where c is the constant term and a is the coefficient of x square these are the very two important relations between zeros and coefficients of a polynomial definitely 
note it. Let us check. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relationship between zeros and the coefficients. You see what the polynomial given is x square plus 7x plus 10. See that a is equal to 1, which is coefficient of x square, b equal to plus 7, coefficient of x, and c is equal to plus 10. We have this polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 using splitting middle term method. It is x plus 2 into x plus 5 equating to 0. The two zeros you have x equal to minus 2 and x equal to minus 5. Consider one as the alpha minus 2, another as beta minus 5, sum of zeros minus 2 plus minus 5 which is minus 7 can be written as minus 7 by 1. Note that it is same as minus b by a. Product of zeros is minus 2 into minus 5 is equal to plus 10 can be written as 10 by 1. Note that it is c by a. Hence the relation between zeros and coefficients are verified. How to form a polynomial when zeros are given? How to form a polynomial when zeros are in last case we saw that a polynomial is given we can find the zeros now in the reverse order zeros are given how to form a polynomial directly i am saying the shortcut when the zeros of a quadratic polynomial are given the polynomial can be formed as yes. here is the ready-made formula for you polynomial p of x is equal to x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros or using symbols, we can write it as p of x is equal to x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha into beta. Sum of zeros and product of zeros. Let us see some examples. Find a quadratic polynomial whose sum and product of zeros are minus 3 and 2 respectively. What are given? Let us go. Sum of zeros is minus 3, product of zeros is 2. We have the formula x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros. Simple substitution x square minus sum of zeros minus 3. Note that it is minus of minus 3x plus 2 which is x square plus 3x plus 2. Let us see one more problem. Find the quadratic polynomial whose zeros are given. Zeros are given as minus 5 and 3. What are given? Alpha and beta. Minus 5 and 3. What is the sum of zeros? Alpha plus beta. Minus 5 plus 3. Minus 2. Product of zeros. Alpha into beta. Minus 5 into 3 which is minus 5. Once again we are collecting the direct equation and substituting p of x is x square minus minus 2. What, what is minus 2? Sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros is minus 15 which is x square plus minus minus 2 become plus plus 2x minus 15. Definitely note that irrational zeros occur in conjugate pairs. Irrational zeros occur in conjugate pairs. If a plus root b is a zero then definitely a minus root b is the other zero which is the conjugate. So the, the term conjugate means simply you change the middle side. Note that root b irrational. This is possible in case of irrational zeros only. So if one of the irrational zero is given without knowing the other directly you can write by changing the middle sign. a plus root b then a minus root b. Let us have an example. Find the quadratic polynomial one of whose zero is 2 plus root 5. 2 plus root 3. Given 1 of 1 0 is 2 plus root 3. Which type of number is irrational? It is an irrational 0. Therefore the other 0 is its conjugate 2 minus root 3. Now you have two zeros, 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root zeros. Go for the problem. Sum of zeros 2 plus root 3 plus 2 minus root 3 plus root 3 minus root 3 will cancel. 2 plus 2 equal to 4. Product of zeros 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3. Irrational roots always follow the identity a plus b into a minus b, a square minus b square. 
2 square minus root 3 square, 2 square 4, square of root 3, it is 3. That is 4 minus 3 is 1. Once again, we have the ready-made equation x square minus sum of zeros, 4 plus product of zeros, 1.